sorry. I'll say you are. Let's go. Turn that thing on. As you can see, we've driven the giant chicken into the woods, but not before he lost this. Could it be that our investigation has frightened off the chicken for good? Only time will tell. Stay away from Martha Stewart, you giant chicken! Don't come back if you know what's good for you! Good morning, Martha Stewart! Today, the Governor's, the Governor's Journalism Prize will be awarded for the best elementary story of the week. And we've learned that the Governor is coming to our school. So I'd say it's a good, it's looking good for one of our crow and crack reporters. And now, time for our on location reports by Taylor Scone and Star Jasmine. And there have been no reported sightings of the giant chicken since yesterday. I have with me a fifth grade student who has requested to be only referred to as mystery student. Hello, mystery student. Hello, Taylor. So it's true, isn't it, that you're always in the hallway? That's right, Taylor. I have a permanent bathroom pass with no expiration date. I've been in this hallway since third grade. So you haven't been inside a classroom for two years? That's right, Taylor. So it's safe to say that if the giant chicken were still in Martha Stewart Elementary, you would know about it? If it's in the halls of Martha Stewart, I know about it, Taylor. And have you seen the giant chicken since yes recently? Uh, I haven't seen the chicken since yesterday. Good morning, children of Martha Stewart. This is Star Jasmine. Today, I'd like to take my reporting time to apologize to you all. Accusing Taylor of making up the story of the giant chicken was clearly unprofessional and out of line. In fact, it all seems we owe Taylor a debt of gratitude for ridding our school of this unusual visitor. Please accept my apology, and please accept my promise to be a more responsible student journalist in the future. Thank you. <sighs> Shut the door. Shut the door. Ah, <sighs> what a dump. All right, well, let's get this over with. Children, children, the governor of Louisiana! You see, I have been watching many hours of uh, elementary school news reports from all across our great state. Oh, and I have here, um, where's the, uh, I, look, just, just, I, uh, oh, yes, uh, I have here one thousand dollars. Yes, that's the grand prize for the best elementary school news report from Louisiana, yes. And do you know who this money goes to? Well, it goes to Mr. Taylor Scone. <laughs> I think Star should get that tenor, considering it was her idea and all. Thanks, Big Jake. 
The whole thing was like taking candy from babies. You're a great chicken, Big Jake. Yeah, well, I did grow up on a farm. Grew up on a farm? <laughs> That's a good one, Big Jake. Hey, better be careful no, no one sees you with that chicken head. Why don't you get rid of it? Hmm. I was thinking that we could do a follow-up story. You know, finding more of the chicken and all. I say, what? Well, the contest is over. We got the money. I say, why bother? I agree with Taylor. Get rid of that thing. Cut it up or burn it or something. And while you're at it, burn this too. I'm sick of it. What was that noise? that on tape? Everything. Did you get a good sound? Yeah, every word. Crystal clear. Come on, let's go. I think Mr. Sanders and the rest of the school will be very surprised by our news report. Mimi, I think this is the start of a beautiful friendship. Hey, bad chicken, what you gonna do? Hey, bad chicken, that on to you. Now, big bad chicken, you better fly, cause I like chicken pie. Now, hey, bad chicken, where you gonna run? Hey, bad chicken, you've had your fun. Now, hey, bad chicken, you better fly, cause I like chicken pie. Now, hey, bad chicken, what you gonna do? Bad chicken, that on to you now. Big bad chicken, you better fly, cause I like chicken pie. Now, hey bad chicken, where you gonna run? Hey bad chicken, you've had your fun now. Big bad chicken, you better fly, cause I like chicken pie.